Hello everyone, good morning! It's actually the morning here and I am coming at you with a new type of review, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember ever testing out a product like this before or this type of product. I've got a setting spray for you all. Well, it's it's for me, but we are testing it as a unit, right? Yes. I feel like I hear people talk about this pretty often online. People say it's supposed to just be the best thing ever and that it's always sold out everywhere. But then I saw it when I was at Walmart the last time I was at Walmart and I was like, well, this must be a sign. I think I'm gonna have to buy it and make a review video. So here we are. Ooh, double cap though. Oh no. Just, well, kind of. Connected. Okay. Anyways, I've got a busy day ahead of me so I figured this would be the perfect time to test this out. And to do so, I'm basically just gonna be spraying half of my face to see the difference between using this setting spray and not using a setting spray. So I hope you guys are excited, but let's hop on over to Milani's website really quick so we can read about this, make sure I'm not getting the claims all confused. The claims that I've heard are just that this is supposed to be wonderful, fantastic for oily skin, and that it's gonna make you all matte and perfect for most of the day anyways. So let's go ahead and do that and then we can spray it on half of my face. So here we go. Like I think I kind of said, this is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray Prime, correct? And set. It is going to set you back just $10 and you do get over two ounces of product. You get 2.03 fluid ounces and the description just says that you can lock in your makeup with this and keep that just applied look all day and into the night. No touch-ups needed. This is going to prime, correct, and set your look for up to 16 hours without a crease or smudge in sight and prevents fading and shine. You can spray under or over the makeup or wear on its own for a beautifully matte, flawless face. And for application, just hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from the face and spray in zigzag formation. Do not spray directly into the eyes. I guess that's something I would think would be obvious, but hey, good on you, Milani, protecting yourself from a lawsuit. So, I think that's about it. I'm excited to test this out. Like I said, I've heard great things about this product, so let's go ahead and sing the song together and then we can go ahead and put it on my face. Well, half of it anyways. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. I don't think I need to get you too, too zoomed in, but super simple makeup today. Just the usual, you know, foundation, concealer, brows, contour, blush, highlight, and I will be testing a lip product out as well today. So, oh, and mascara. These are obviously not mine. Yeah, I guess here we go. To do this, I've got this piece of cardboard here. <laughs> Which side of the face? I mean, it really doesn't matter. My sides of my faces are equal for the most part. You know, I try to do even makeup application. So let's go ahead. Let's see. I'm gonna... Okay. Okay. I want to smell it. Okay. It's a little perfumey. I'm kind of surprised, but here we go. I feel like that's gonna be in the way. Mm-hmm, okay, so there's half of my face that felt very strange. I'm just, I'm used to, you know, doing it on the full face. The perfumey smell kind of reminds me of my Toca Graziella perfume. It's kind of weirding me out how much it kind of smells like that, so at least I know I like the scent of it. It was a really nice, fine, misty spray, so that's great. And let's see if it looks any different from side to side. Can you tell that I have setting spray on one half? and not the other, I honestly can't. But there you go, there's our starting point. I feel like that was the shortest testing segment ever, but there's really not much else I can do. There's how it is right now. It really doesn't feel different from one side of my face to the other, but we shall see throughout the day here. I will be taking you guys along with me. I am going to get coffee with one of my oldest time friends here. She is in town, she lives out of state, so I'm excited to see her and to catch up. And then I am just running a bunch of errands and then working a lot. So it's gonna be one of those kind of days, but I am excited to take you guys along with me, see how this does. And yeah, like I said, I will just be checking in with you guys periodically to show the wear down and everything of things. It is currently 9.13 in the morning. So yeah, I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye! <laughs>
the end of the night here. Thank goodness for that. It is currently 1.51 in the morning. Sorry for lack of vloggy footage here at the very end of the night. I have just been doing kind of a deep clean of my apartment, reorganizing my makeup and stuff, and just crying too much because I, I take things way, way, way too, too hard. It's one of my biggest flaws and apparently one of my biggest pluses, attributes, whatever, is that I give 100% my heart into things. I need to learn to give like 50-50 or something, but I just... <laughs> you know, today was a wonderful, wonderful day. I am trying to focus on the positive. You know, I got to see one of my oldest, oldest friends, Kat, my lovely, lovely friend. Sometimes I just look at her and I'm like, you know how beautiful you are, right, Kat, if you're watching this, like, just... She's gorgeous inside and out, so it was very lovely to see her. I think I mentioned earlier she doesn't live in Minnesota anymore. So it was lovely to see her. I got all of my errands run. I got all of my stuff done that I needed to get done around the house. I got my work done. Like, it was a good and productive day up until, like, the last couple hours here. But, anyways, I'm trying to focus on the positive. Most of you all are wonderful, wonderful human beings. So thank you to those of you who are sending me gifs or gifs, however you like to pronounce it, of cats giving people hugs and giving the camera hugs and just kind words and nice words and just not only to me, but to everyone in the world. You are appreciated. You are loved. Thank you for being you. Let's take a look, shall we? Which review am I doing first here? Probably foundation? Sure. Let's look at it. I mean, technically this is not a foundation review, but sorry for any smudges. I don't feel like the setting spray helped a lot. It did help a little, but not a lot. I don't, I don't know. Can you guys see? I mean, I definitely think you can see that it did fade quite a bit more, like around here, just in general, definitely on my chin on this side, it's almost completely gone. So you can definitely see the difference that a good setting spray makes, but also you can see that it doesn't make a complete difference, because like my forehead doesn't look any different from side to side, right? And I think, you know, you can see blush and highlight and all that. Well, maybe it's a bit stronger on this side. Yeah, I'll say it's a bit stronger. And like I said, I think my pores on my nose look better on this side. Hmm. So I think overall it worked out. Yeah, I, I'm curious to keep giving this a shot in any case. I feel like as of right now, I can pretty strongly say that I prefer other setting sprays more, like the pharmacy one that I'm using at the moment, but when it comes to drugstore setting sprays, I really liked the L'Oreal Infallible. I also really liked the Urban Decay All Nighter. So those are some comparisons, you know, those are ones that have been doing really well for me. This one did, like I said, okay I think right I don't know maybe you guys are gonna be able to see something that I don't it would be understandable if my emotions are a bit fogged at the moment but I don't think it made a difference in oil control I feel like that was pretty noticeable when I did blot my face it looks like the same amount of oil and stuff came up on the blotting paper, right? So I don't know how great it was for that, but overall, like I said, for a $10 setting spray, it's worth me trying out more. Maybe the cardboard in the beginning when I was covering half my face ended up covering a little more than half my face. Like I said, there are things that definitely could have interfered. We shall see. I will continue to test this out, but as of right now with this testing, to put things into a numerical perspective for you guys, I have got my pause rating system here. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range, but since, you know, it's a setting spray, it's universal, it's translucent, we're gonna get rid of shade range here. So for performance, I'll give it like I said, it's really hard right now to tell just because I don't know if maybe the cardboard was interfering and that's why I'm getting kind of weirder results. For performance, I'm gonna go ahead, I mean it clearly, it. I think it made a difference, right? It made a difference. 
I'm going to give it a 4 on performance. Application is mainly the mister on a setting spray, and the mister was great. It was a very fine mist and whatnot, so I'm going to give it a 5 on the application. And for worth the price, I mean, it's a $10 setting spray. Can you get cheaper? Not by much. I mean, I think even Wet n Wild setting spray is like 6 or 7 bucks. so worth the price. I mean, if it ends up performing once I do it on my whole face and whatnot, it's probably worth the price. But right now, it's hard for me to say, so I'm going to give it a 4 on that. So overall, that gets a 13 out of 15, or a 4.33333 repeating out of 5 paws. It's a good setting spray. Like I said, I feel like, you know, I'm excited to keep on testing this and everything. I know some people, like my friend V, mentioned that she's got, like, normal to dry skin and it's a bit drying of a setting spray on her. So if you have dry skin, just know I have heard not only from V, but from other people as well, that for dry skin this might not be the greatest for you. You know, you might just want to look into reviews and whatnot, but definitely if you have normal to oily skin, it seems like this might be something to check out. I, like I said a million times now, I'm excited to keep on using it and I hope that this review was helpful for you guys in seeing whether or not you are going to want to test it for yourself. If the review was helpful and or enjoyable for you, despite my little downer here at the end, I'm sorry, I try my best to keep things positive. Let's keep things positive positive. If you did enjoy the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!